welcome back to Let's Play Hearthstone for Kaiserreich. It's Ireland. Let's continue on for we last left off. So everyone in Ulster is mad. And I guess that's not really new information. But we'll, we'll, we'll try to make things work in our favor in, in some respect. Oh, so how's everybody feeling about like the new thumbnail style that I've been kind of uh, trying out recently? I'm, I, I'm hoping people like it. I know some people like when it was just like a flag and a number, which I mean I understand. It was, it was a lot easier for me when it was just a flag and a number. I think this is the same event we had we saw last year, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think it's good. Doesn't take too. Eh, it'll probably takes like mm, I want to say like maybe three minutes per thumbnail, depending on what I'm doing. Kazan's body. There was surprise and consternation about this week's cabinet meeting when the Minister of Foreign Affairs noted the government at the uh, most usual, had the most unusual offer from the Union of Britain that they returned to watch the corpse of Sir Roger Casement, an Anglo-Irish anti-imperialist campaigner and hero of the independence era. Against his own wishes, Casement was buried in an English prison following his execution in 1916 for treason, after he ran guns from Germany to Ireland for the Easter Rising. An immediate and rally debate uh, ensued among the cabinet about whether this is some kind of ploy by the British or a genuine attempt at soothing relations. The British, for their part, have presented this as an olive branch that will coincide with the 21st anniversary of the Easter Rising. While this opportunity uh, to give Casman a proper burial is extremely appealing, some members of the cabinet have noted that this deal would require at least some kind of uh, glad handing of the Union of Britain, if not outright public acknowledgement of them as a fellow republic. This would be difficult for the government pub uh, publicly to sing the Union of Britain's praises in return for Casement, but on the other hand, refusing the offer might be tantamount of political suicide, as the opposition in public would never claim to understand it. I believe this might make us an actual puppet. Because <laughs> they, get, they get 20 influence immediately. Or, or, is, it, or is it just... Wait... Oh, is it only when this happens? It's not just at any point to get 15 or more points. She either side of 15 or more influence points than the other at the end of the contest. Okay, so it's only when this is finished does this actually trigger, I believe. I'm going to save in case that's not actually the case. But I don't think they'd make you just like an immediate British puppet for wanting to... Uh... Yeah, let us... I mean, come on. You got to take it, right? Bring him home. We're bringing it home, boys. We're bringing it home. Needs more red arrows and exclamation points. So true. Honestly, I, the next thumbnail is it's just going to be a red arrow. Nothing else. It's, 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 it's just a red arrow. The thumbnail is just a red arrow that points straight to the subscribe button. Okay, Balkan Wars. I, I could not give more of it, less of a shit, I should say, about the <laughs> than, than the Balkans. Following the Berlin stock market collapse, Serbia and its allies have seized upon a momentary lapse of the watchful eye of the Germanic giants in the attempt to capture the lands each believed to be rightfully theirs. While to many across Europe this seems like pointless ethno-nationalist conflict, a significant portion of Irish public has begun to develop great sympathy for Belgrade Pact's ambitions and have begun to call for Irish support for their struggle. To those across the nation sympathetic to the cause, they see the conflict as one familiar to the Irish, seeing it as Serbia's attempt to right the wrong of partition of its people by foreign imperialist powers, and they ultimately unite their nation together under one banner, regardless of religious or cultural uh, differences foreign rulers brought to their lands. It would be a mistake, however, to believe that this view is universal across the uh, Ireland, with the pro bulgarian viewpoint quickly prevailing across the nation for multitude of reasons. Pro-German voices in the country would tend to support the Bulgarian cause, and others point out that Bulgaria also began its modern history through its own rebellion against imperialism, and, like those across the continent, there are many within the country who also view this conflict as a pointless effort, as there's no purpose except to throw the Balkans into chaos. The radical nature of the Belgrade's uh, regimes are also pushed towards many towards supporting Sofia, viewing Romania's leadership as nothing more than organized psychopaths, and Serbia's regime as deluded idealists sailing a nation into the cliffs of ruin. I'm, look, we're not going to do fucking jack shit. Like, of course we're not going to do anything. Yeah, no. Give me a civilian political power. I'm not... Why would I get involved in... In in that? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Playing with fire. Civilian factory. Basic light tank. Small airframe. 
I mean, I, I was poor having Germany on the side. So you know what? Let's throw, um, we'll go for the new odd. And get a little bit more German influence here. You know what? Let's actually court the Germans a little bit as well. I'll spend 10 political power on this. That seems okay. Okay, Germany's also doing their own influence here, which is fine. I hate how you guys are a little bit more expensive than I wanted. I mean, you're still cheaper than normal, but I'm not happy with it. The rules of the road. As antagonism heats up between the Reichs Pact and the Syndicalist powers, Ireland has found itself on the front line in a battle for influence among the true great naval forces of Europe. With the sleepy uh, status quo of uh, previous years broken, the desire to update certain facets of Irish life to maintain standards have begun to be embraced by cosmopolitans and nationalists alike. The former seeking to tie Ireland closer to the European partners, and the later favoring the abolition of archaic leftovers inherited from the legacy of British rule. Of course we're going to switch. We're going to be on the other side. Dismiss the idea. We were calling no more. We lose 5% stability because we're making everybody switch to the other side of the road. You know what, actually, I guess that would make sense. I, I feel like if they switched the side of the road to drive it on here, it'd be chaos. You ever see those photos? I think it's of Sweden when they did their um, road change. And like everyone's like all fucked up. Because nobody knows how the hell to drive. It's kind of like that. 100% resource efficiency. Uh, I don't want to take any of you right now. You're all 30. I mean, 38 tech is like a little is too expensive right now. Yeah, the key to the side, the same on Northern Ireland to mess things up more. That's a great idea. I'll, I'll, we'll make like one of those highways in like city skylines that just look all fucked up because nobody knows how to actually design a highway in that game. And all like looping in into each other. It'll be beautiful. You know, let's, let's do double resource excavation. Why not? Seems as good a time as any. Um, Empire's declared war on Bulgaria. Okay, Sophia, it, it's not happening for you, okay, buddy? How do you pull that 70 already? Well, I guess this actually gives 10. We can buy equipment for influence. But again, we don't want Germany to win. Do I need what do I actually what do, do I need guns? I have 3,000 rifles right now. I should train some units, huh? What else do we have? Artillery and support equipment. Do I care? Do I, do I care about what are we? What have you been building? Basically, not. I, I don't have an economy. I guess we'll buy some artillery pieces here for now. Um, we'll build some military factories when we can, and let's buy. People aren't even selling anything, man. Buy all the Swedish rifles. Mary Lavelle, the Irish novelist and playwright Kate O'Brien has uh, already an author of some notes uh, in the uh, public mind in past years. With her latest work, Mary Lavelle is uh, surely by uh, now her most notorious. O'Brien has found her niche uh, in typically writing romances about uh, British and Anglo-Irish bourgeoisie characters trying to find their place in the world, following the British and Irish revolutions. Despite her fascination with the upper class, the committed Anglophile O'Brien has uh, spent much of the last decade in the Union of Britain, where she relished in the revolutionary atmosphere. Her lifestyle over there is much remarked upon in Ireland, as it's reported she crops her hair short and is known to wear men's clothing, and there's even rumors that she is intimidated that she is intimate with other women. Her new book does little to dispel in this innuendo, as Mary Lavelle features an old Irish lesbian profession in her love for the female protagonist. The salacious is on top of the main thread of the story featuring protagonists falling in love with a married man. Between the scandalous nature of both the author and the work itself, there are calls in some quarters of the book to be banned in the country. Others say it's a comparatively more laissez-faire social attitude of say fan could stand. Well, let's just, I mean, market liberals are in our coalition, so we will, um... The weak mind cannot survive some mild titillation. Let the prudes grumble. Anybody here with a weak mind? I don't know, but I, I, I think I would have to say I expect my audience to be smarter than average. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I, be I believe in my audience. To some extent. I mean, you're our, 
<laughs> you are watching Hoi 4, so maybe that does bring it down a bit points. Hey, it's, it's okay, though. Okay, Bulgaria has immediately lost. Good work, team. By the way, Carl, how are you guys doing down here? I mean, you're holding the front. Somehow the Kingdom of Spain is still alive. I don't know how they've accomplished that. Setting the clocks forward. With a continued demand among sections of the uh, public to re-examine practices passed down from Ireland's history of British governance, the previous motion to alter the state's road rules into accordance with the uh, bulk of the Canadian traffic reform. Okay, so this is if we want to be on European time or on British time. Oh, yeah, of course. Wait, what, what are they at right now? Because, again, we don't want to be puppeted. 75, 85. Okay, congratulations, uh, Britain. We're going to be on your timetable still. Yeah, you aren't playing the crazy niche mod, though. It's kind of for something. What's, like, the niches mod? Anybody see that mod where it turns um, Hoi 4 into Five Nights at Freddy's? I tried playing it. Uh, playing it. Could not actually get it to work properly. Ooh, free mo free military factory. Thank you, Germany. I'm actually really, really happy about that. You're kind of actually dog shit. <laughs> this is actually like really bad. A 200% research bonus towards industry, though. That one, that's a little bit more interesting for me. Local construction speed, genuinely, is kind of dog shit. We'll turn all of these off for at least right now. And we will go for... I mean, we're already unlimited. Yeah, but you're only like training time. It's not that bad, actually. Those deep fried mods with memes and references to fandom drama? Holy shit. Where, where can I download those? Right, right negative 5% construction speed. I guess Black Monday is still pretty bad, huh? The Hot July. On the 12th day of July in the year 1690, the Catholic King James II of England was defeated by Willem Orange in the Battle of the Bonn. For Irish Catholics, James' defeat brought about their subjugation under the harsh penal laws. But for Ulster Protestants, the victorious Wilhelm was a savior who would deliver them from the specter of Catholic domination and solidify their uh, legitimacy to settle in Ireland, having arrived from Britain only a few decades prior. The day has become a key loyalist commemoration. Celebrated with marches by the Eternal Orange Order and with bonfires at night before. Although the majority of loyalists have uh, grudgingly accepted joining the hated Irish Republic as an alternative to cynicalism, the burning of Irish, British, and German flags atop these bonfires took off during the uh, interwar period as an avenue to express passive resistance. Though the month is always a uh, nervous affair due to the ever-present ethno-religious hostilities, the rise of AN, the NLCL, and the UPL made the uh, build-up to this year's 20th, um, to this 12th particularly tense, as June and the early July were uh, marked by an increase in reports of sectarian violence perpetrated by the blue shirts and the UPL supporters. These manly tensions exploded on the 12th itself as the confrontation broke down while uh, the Orange Order marched past but through a Catholic area, escalating into a riot. Guardi were in ineffective at calling the rioting, and allegations are spreading uh, to lower Guardi um, siding with the rioters for their own communities. And by the end of the day, several people were dead and many homes were destroyed. Very cool, Ulster. Very cool. I'm very, very happy. Effects when completed. If not completed, we lose a bunch of stability. How do I deal with this? Because it still says there's nine levels to deal with um, Black Monday. Am I missing something? Is there like a... Th yeah, because these are all for Black Monday. We have you as well. Oh, okay. We need. We actually need to take this. What are we doing right now? I will lose five days of political power. I'm, I'm okay with that. We need to actually get rid of Black Monday ASAP. I don't have time for this. We gotta hurry this shit along. Um. What year is it? It's 37 still? Okay, we'll go with artillery upgrades. Seems okay. Like, it's not crazy or anything, but. We should be fine with it. Let's go. Tr let's get some trucks building. Throw some artillery in here as well. Like, like, can we afford planes? I, I can't see a reality in which we can. Unfortunately. 
can buy some boats. We can buy some Dutch boats. Good idea. How's the American Civil War going, by the way? Uh, I'm going to say this looks like a CSA victory to me. MacArthur, I don't believe you've got what it takes, unfortunately. Like, it's never been more over for you. Decisions available. Ignore your use. You're both at 95 at the moment. Which I think is fairly reasonable. I mean, because then troops like the American Union State. It's an, it's an idea? The Tartan Games. Do again for the Gauls um, what you have done for the Greeks. Such were the slogans that littered the pamphlets that have been distributed um, um, around Leicester House for the past number of weeks. The relatively successful hosting of the uh, modern Olympic Games in Dublin last year had led to a small but influential group of Irish sports enthusiasts to put pressure on the government to re-host the Taliton Games. The Taliton Games, in their original form, were played in the centuries preceding the Norman invasions of the 1169 and 1171, and as far back as over a millennia before the birth of Christ, if legends are true. Tradition holds that they were first held to be marked the funeral of a harvest day, of the harvest deity uh, Tyrtu, who died of exhaustion after clearing a dense expanse of forest of Kul Myth to form a rich farmland, which is now known. These games were declared a time of truce and great test of wit, skill, and strength on display, and a time for celebration and arranging of marriages. Shortly before the onset of the British Revolution in 924, the Sinn Féin administration of the uh, day uh, hosted a modern-day equivalent to great success. Now, the few weeks after and a uh, largely model out in the Olympic Games in Berlin, the Games brought together hundreds of people of Irish descent from all over the world, as well as some guest competitors invited to come and add to the spectacle. To the chagrin of those uh, petitioning government, however, these Games did not come to uh, become a regular fixture. Security concerns and spending issues became too much for successive governments of the day to justify, particularly when the insular nature of the Games would mean that there would be little international interest in the, uh, to invest in increasing the security involved. Even the, even the uh, hosting of the Olympic Games themselves uh, have been a tough call to make, and they were only accepted on the back of the international recognition it would bring, assuming it would outweigh the initial cost. But with the world engulfed in further conflict, particularly in America, where so much of the story lies, let alone in the larger sport event being uh, held locally, only recent memory, there was very little appetite in the government to pay heed to these petitions. I don't need, I don't need that 10%, uh, I don't need that 10 political power. I am stronger than that. I don't need that garbage in my life. We'll get it back. Look, where we generate how much? 0.27? Ah, shit, actually. We, did, we actually didn't need that time political power. That's, that's pretty That's pretty bad. I made a mistake. I mean, I, I didn't get a choice, but yet I have made a mistake on this. Okay, you're now finished up. Give me another negative 15% on you. So now I can take this. But I need political power. Like, desperately, I, I need political power. So how are you guys? 95-95 is okay. Do any of you give me political power? Power. I'll be some down here, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Because I do need it. Has completed focus. Loans for small farmers. Which is... Is that one of these ones up here that we didn't get a take? No. It might be over here somewhere. Okay, so this is for... The metric system. Um... What are we at right now? 100, 100. I mean, again, I, I do need a political power. So we'll take, we will convert to metric. I think, I think at this point, the UK was still in um, imperial. I did see like the um, the chart where it's like this guy supports this guy, and then there's like five million arrows. I saw it. And I I, I did not really read it. Because who... Okay, you're actually way too expensive. Because who has time for that shit? Who has, who has time to actually comprehend it? Not me. Okay, we have the units that we can deploy. Did 
They're three party. They can't even get elected. National discontent will decrease. Political power, political power. I mean, we do need this. Let's get loans for small farmers next. Radio Free Scotland. One of the largest technical developments to note in recent years has been the growth of radio. Although radio broadcasts have existed in Ireland since the mid-20s, the initial range of the channels were limited and required relay uh, stations to carry their signal from Dublin to Cork. However, the technology developed rapidly, and new more powerful transmitters have emerged that carry a signal over vast distances. Expert on by the success of long-range radio stations in the Low Countries, a group of exiled Scottish activists in Belfast have raising funds for their own station, Radio Free Scotland, planning on purchasing a transmitter with a range of roughly 150 miles. The station will be uh, able to reach both Glasgow and Edinburgh, as well as Liverpool in England. The group's stated uh, aim is simple, to provide an alternate source of news in Scottish culture from the tightly controlled media in the Union of Britain. Although British radio has uh, leaks into Ireland, this new station would be uh, plainly uh, planning to be subversive, and it may be seen as provocation by the British. Okay, so what are we at right now? Kind of maybe... They lose influence. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna- we're gonna shut down Radio Free Scotland. Because again, I, I- I can't have the Germans take over the country. So we need to kind of play it safe, at least for the time being. God, I need political- I need political power, so we're at 0 0.29. That's so bad. But I'll say that at least for right now, it's gonna be a good time for us to end this episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to thumbs up. Not to thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.